evolution is a fact. Beyond reasonable doubt, beyond serious doubt, beyond sane, informed, intelligent doubt, beyond doubt, evolution is a fact. The evidence for evolution is at least as strong as the evidence for the Holocaust, even allowing for eyewitnesses to the Holocaust. It is the plain truth that we are cousins of chimpanzees, somewhat more distant cousins of monkeys, more distant cousins still of aardvarks and manatees, yet more distant cousins of bananas and turnips, continue the list as long as desired. That didn't have to be true. It is not self-evidently, tautologically, obviously true. And there was a time when most people, even educated people, thought it wasn't. It didn't have to be true, but it is. We know this because a rising flood of evidence supports it. Evolution is a fact, and this book will demonstrate it. No reputable scientist disputes it, and no unbiased listener will reach the end of the book doubting it. Why, then, do we speak of Darwin's theory of evolution, thereby, it seems, giving spurious comfort to those of a creationist persuasion, the history deniers, the forty percenters, who think the word theory is a concession, handing them some kind of gift or victory? What is a theory? What is a fact? Only a theory? Let's look at what theory means. The Oxford English Dictionary gives two meanings, actually more, but these are the two that matter here. Theory, sense one. A scheme or system of ideas or statements held as an explanation or account of a group of facts or phenomena, a hypothesis that has been confirmed or established by observation or experiment and is propounded or accepted as accounting for the known facts. A statement of what are held to be the general laws, principles or causes of something known or observed. Theory, sense two. A hypothesis proposed as an explanation. Hence, a mere hypothesis, speculation, conjecture. An idea or set of ideas about something. An individual view or notion. Obviously, the two meanings are quite different from one another. And the short answer to my question about the theory of evolution is that the scientists are using sense one, while the creationists are, perhaps mischievously, perhaps sincerely, opting for sense two. A good example of sense one is the heliocentric theory of the solar system, the theory that Earth and the other planets orbit the sun. Evolution fits sense one perfectly. Darwin's theory of evolution is indeed a scheme or system of ideas or statements. It does account for a massive group of facts or phenomena. It is a hypothesis that has been confirmed or established by observation or experiment. And by generally informed consent, it is a statement of what are held to be the general laws, principles, or causes of something known or observed. It is certainly very far from a mere hypothesis, speculation, conjecture. Scientists and creationists are understanding the word theory in two very different senses. Evolution is a theory in the same sense as the heliocentric theory. In neither case should the word only be used, as in only a theory. As for the claim that evolution has never been proved, proof is a notion that scientists have been intimidated into mistrusting. Influential philosophers tell us we can't prove anything in science. Mathematicians can prove things. According to one strict view, they are the only people who can. But the best that scientists can do is fail to disprove things while pointing to how hard they tried. Even the undisputed theory that the moon is smaller than the sun cannot, to the satisfaction of a certain kind of philosopher, be proved in the way that, for example, the Pythagorean theorem can be proved. But massive accretions of evidence support it so strongly that to deny it the status of fact seems ridiculous to all but pedants. The same is true of evolution. Evolution is a fact in the same sense as it is a fact that Paris is in the Northern Hemisphere. Though logic choppers rule the town, not my favourite Yeats line, but apt in this case. Some theories are beyond sensible doubt, and we call them facts. 
The more energetically and thoroughly you try to disprove a theory, if it survives the assault, the more closely it approaches what common sense happily calls a fact. A scientific theorem, such as evolution or heliocentrism, is a theory that conforms to the Oxford Dictionary's Sense 1. It has been confirmed or established by observation or experiment and is propounded or accepted as accounting for the known facts. It is a statement of what are held to be the general laws, principles or causes of something known or observed. It is now time to examine the dictionary definition of a fact. Here is what the OED has to say. Again, there are several definitions, but this is the relevant one. Fact. Something that has really occurred or is actually the case. Something certainly known to be of this character. Hence, a particular truth known by actual observation or authentic testimony, as opposed to what is merely inferred or to a conjecture or fiction. A datum of experience, as distinguished from the conclusions that may be based upon it. Evolution is within us, around us, between us, and its workings are embedded in the rocks of Aeon's past. Given that, in most cases, we don't live long enough to watch evolution happening before our eyes, we shall revisit the metaphor of the detective coming upon the scene of a crime after the event and making inferences. The aids to inference that lead scientists to the fact of evolution are far more numerous, more convincing, more incontrovertible than any eyewitness reports that have ever been used in any court of law in any century to establish guilt in any crime.